Anyway, people, as you see here, I have a birdhouse. Magnus made it for me for Father's Day. It's a, it says 01 on it. It's a birdhouse. I call it my little mushroom just to bug him. But I love him to death. He made it for me at school. The top comes off. So, it's kind of cool. Oh. And we're cooking. I'm, it's Thursday and I'm already cooking for tomorrow. Because I'm going to cook tonight instead of tomorrow. I got some potatoes boiling. Because I'm going to try to make some potato cakes tonight. So... Hang in with me. We'll see how this goes. I'm not going to show you the whole boiling process because that'd be boring. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so what we got here is a little bottle of milk. We got some frozen butter. Froze solid, by the way. We got a I'm hoping that's going to be a tater masher. A bowl. And. Ow! Some boiled potatoes that I'm going to take the skins off of. And then I'm going to mash them. So hopefully, tonight, I can make potato cakes. My dad says the best potatoes to use as a day old mashed potatoes but you know it just didn't work out that way for me today so we're gonna use these and just hope they turn out okay You know, this damn potato is kind of hot. I don't want to use the uh, potato peeler because I don't think that'll work. So I'll be back in a minute when I get them all peeled. Let's see. Start mashing. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Pour some milk in there. Black pepper since mouse don't like it. <laughs> she said she didn't like the black specks in her taters. Well, I do. I don't know if this butter's thawed out enough to cut up or not. It don't seem like it. And I'm going to add, since I'm going to make them into tater cakes anyway, let's add some Parmesan. Yep. We didn't use that many taters, we'll just use a half stick of butter. 
Did you see that? That looked cool. So we put an egg and we put some flour in here. I think I put too much flour. Can you do such thing? In case you're wondering, I'm working on making tater cakes. Yeah. I got some extra virgin olive oil. I think this is going to make quite a few. Okay, so. Okay, so I got some onions. See onions. I'm gonna pour them in here. So you know, I love onions. Then, I'm going to put some diced tomatoes in there. Why? Because I want to. And because I got them, and I need to use them up before they spoil. Now I'm going to put a little mild chili in there. If you remember beforehand, I put a little bit of a uh, parmesan in there. Now I'm going to put a little cheddar. Okay. Yeah, I know somebody's going to yell at me for this one. I don't know who it'll be this time, but somebody will. Why well, is not a tighter cake? Well, you know. It's redneck style.
styrofoam plates, but I'm going to put paper towels over them. So, I'll be back in a little bit, y'all. Okay. So, I now have cakes in the griddle. Ha 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 ha. I'm trying to get them to cook. This is not easy. I thought it would be. I'll be back. Okay, people. So, this is taking me a few trials. <laughs> I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is what I'm turning up with. I mean... But this is the way most of them are looking. <laughs> I ate one or two as we were cooking. <laughs> so, that's what the inside of the pan looks like. <laughs> Don't ask me, man. This is trial and error. But I'll tell you this. They darn sure taste good. <laughs> They keep falling apart on me. I don't know why they do that. Why they keep falling apart, but... They are at the least tasting good. If I can just keep them together long enough to not fall apart. Oh, and... It's raining. Okay, what we got here is an assembly line of sorts. What I have here is beaded up chicken breast. See, beaded up chicken breast. Shit. Okay, there you go. Beaded up chicken breast. Egg wash. Bread crumbs. Cheese and ham. And toothpicks. I have not put any spices, haven't seasoned them in any way, haven't even heated up my pan, it's still cold from a while ago. So, I'm going to take this, roll this in it, toothpick it, after I put some spices on it, i got to figure out what I'm going to do for spices. Salt, pepper garlic, onions. Maybe a little hot sauce. Okay. I'll be back in just a minute. Let me go wash my hands so I can get some seasonings. Okay, so here's what I did. Salt, pepper, garlic, onions, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. That's my seasoning. I figure I'd do it that way. So, I don't contaminate everything. So, I am going to put just a little bit of seasoning on it as we go. Now, I'm going to put a half piece of cheese here. Piece of Swiss. We got some really thin sliced ham. Oh, so good. So good. Speaking of cold, 
Yeah, I'm gonna throw on. Hey, that, hey, that train miller, dude, how are you? That's a very good time on that train. I think it was shaved. <laughs> I'm feeling like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I live, like, near Ella, but that's just creepy. That's just creepy. Tell me where you live, girl. That's just creepy. <laughs> What's my fake kind of car and mine is Lambo? So. Uh, I don't have a fake car real life. I have a fake car I'll put my toothpicks here so I can use them. This does not work right. I noticed that. Use that little floppy piece to try to Okay, so this is going to take a little while. You know what I forgot? Spices! Okay, so I'll be back in a little bit when I get these done. So, I'm letting my oil heat up. I've got my chicken in different stages. So, I'm hoping this works. If it doesn't, it's not my fault. I'm trying crazy stuff. I'm trying to impress you people. Stop it! Okay, so, okay, so, the oil is hot. Ow! Just in case she's wondering, I got burnt right there! Thank you. 
Yeah, that worked. Okay, I'll be back when I get the. Hey, folks. Okay, so I brought you back for the taste test, as normal. I cut into it to make sure it was done first. You know, don't want to be eating raw chicken. What I did was, I fried it up. Once I got it fried, I put it in the oven and let it bake. You know, to finish baking so it'd get done. I got some tater cakes. They cooled off quite a bit. But, but me and myself, I love cold or cool tater cakes. So. <coughs> or, just for our friend, Mouse says, potato cakes. So, we're going to try a little. That's actually pretty good. I got a few toothpicks in there. In case you're wondering what kind of cheese I used, I used a Swiss and provolone. That's really hot. I mean, heat hot. It's actually really good, too. So, I was going to have corn on the cob with it, but for some reason, my corn on the cob, when I was boiling it, turned black. I didn't burn it. It just turned black. I don't know what happened to it. So I decided I wasn't going to eat that. I wasn't going to take a chance on that one. So. That's my video. Hope you liked it. Check me out next week. I'll give me some ideas, you know. I'll try something. Alright, bye people.